to Bwana CK. Uh-huh. What do we have today? Today we have a car that we have been really looking for on conversations driven because it marks the boundary where Subaru stopped being Subaru and started you know, building contraption of vehicles that we, we are not very enthusiastic about. It carries uh, the, the earlier generation and the later generation of uh, the so-called Subaru Fukusuiz. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we have the Subaru Forester SH series here with us on uh, Conversations Redriven. And we are going to dissect it and tell you more about this car and why it is special and why it carries so much tech. You know, this is the least understood Subaru. Baru Forester ever. Correct. The whole, the whole lineage. Mm. It is the ni kama ule mtoto anazaliwa ngwa katikati. Mm. Ya kuna msia na muelewa. Yeah. You get so it is this car. So the the, the SH series uh, was in production from the year 2008 all the way to 2013. It received a facelift in the year 2010. And that is where Subaru started trying out another series of engines on it, which I'm going to talk about when we open uh, the hood mm. and see what this Forester is running on. Yes. Plus also, mm -hmm. you, uh, you have not given us a walk around Wokabi. I will give you a walk around. Yes. Relax. Okay. Turn the cars. Because the most interesting part is always in the engine. Yes. And we know Subaru has used um, common engines for a very long time. In mm -hmm. fact, that's something Subaru is known for. So, under the hood of this one is the normal non-turbo or naturally aspirated 2-liter EJ20 flat 4 boxer. We have talked a lot about this engine. And what are the problems associated with this engine? You must change the timing kit or the whole timing kit. That is water pump and then the belt and the pulleys at 100,000 kilometers. You to mewambia time and again. Yes. So if it is running on the uh, on the EJ20, the EJ20 non-turbo or the EJ20 turbo, your timing lazima ifanyike. Mm. Amata EJ25, there are those that had EJ25s as well. Yes. Now let's talk about, I told you that in 2010, Subar the Forester uh, SH received a facelift. Yes. We had an inverted grill and a few things here and there. Mm -hmm. Actually for the layman, it is quite hard to, Tell the difference. Tell the difference. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> However, <laughs> yes, these uh, I told you this was the least understood Subaru Forester in the lineage, because the earlier generations from 2008 all the way to 2010, they they had the following engines. They had the EJ20, uh, both turbo and non-turbo, and they had the EJ25, both uh, non, that is non-turbo. Yes. Yeah. There are also some diesel engines that had what is called the Subaru Boxer diesel. Mm -hmm. Still on this one. Mm -hmm. However, from 2010, you will find some of these Subaru Forester SH with the FB20. Ah, the new series of... The new series of, Sub of Subaru engines, engines that do not have the timing belt, mm -hmm. but have the timing, the timing chain. chain. Right. Uh, also, you might find some FA20s as well. There is one that was called the Subaru Forester XT on this edition. Ah. And FA20 haina si famzuri, by the way. <laughs> yes, FA20, especially up in Kenya. FA20, FA16 hazina si famzuri. Mm. So, but anyway, if you got this one with a turbo, the EJ20 with a turbo, it would serve you. It will give you that Subaru feel, right? So I've told you that from 2010 you will find this car in the now conventional Subaru engines such as the FA20, FB20 and FB25, right? Yes. Let's get to the interesting part and that is the transmission. Uh, this one, on the trim levels of the Subaru Forester, there was one called the S edition. Aya, tumefika hapo? Yes. Kwanza tukule pause, hapo kwa S edition. I will go back there. Yes. Now, this particular one runs on a four-speed automatic transmission that is called the TZ1B. Yes. Indio? Yes. Now the TZ1 is a series of four-speed automatic gearboxes by Subaru. They are on the Forester, they are on the Legacy, sana sana. Mm -hmm. Those four speeds. Uh, and okay, it is hard to tell that this vehicle actually has a four-speed. Correct. Right? Yes. But there was one that was called the S Edition that had the five-speed automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. so, so that was the only Forester I said that had a five-speed automatic. Now, you would also get a five-speed manual and a six-speed manual for the diesel. Mm -hmm. No no petrol? Um. No, no. For the petrol, you get a five-speed manual. Okay. For the diesel, you get a six-speed manual. 
right? Yes. Tuko pamoja. Apple that is why it's the least understood Subaru Forester. And I think that is when Subaru was trying to 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 take away the enthusiastic feel from the Subaru into making it more of an SUV mall Corolla. Ah. Tuko pamoja? Yes. So there is one thing about this vehicle that people talk about and it, it has actually been a very big problem if you are buying a Subaru Forester SH and that is the steering system. Well, uh, it came with a steering system that incorporated both the hydraulic and the electronic part of it. It's called Servotronic. So the Servotronic means, uh, you know, you get the, the assistance of both. And that is part of the reasons why this was the most comfortable Subaru Forester maybe ever built. However, that steering rack, if it goes bad, it's very expensive because currently we are talking about between 90,000 all the way to 100,000 to buy the steering rack only. However, what do you do if that problem persists? You just change the whole system and uh, modify it with that of the Subaru Forester. SG5 or SG9 but that conversion is not easy as well because you have to, to to start working on it from the cross member all the way up to the to the steering rack and the column and also the pump and the reservoir so that is why if you see an SH that has been modified to incorporate the SG5's steering system the pump will be somewhere around here it will be very conspicuous immediately you open the hood of that vehicle you will notice the pump up there. Imefura. Yeah, Imefura. So uh, if if you if you're buying an uh, a Subaru Forester SH, if you find one that has already been modified, it will serve you forever without having, uh, you know, aita kusumbua. And instead of replacing this steering system for for about a hundred thousand less labor, uh, you'd rather if it fails, you'd rather just switch it with that of the SG5 or SG9. So that's why I was saying, I was telling you, this is part of, this is the car where Subaru started, you know, leaving the boundary from uh, being good conventional practical cars to being some other things. However, uh, you know, that was the biggest challenge when it came to this particular Subaru Forester and this particular model. But there is a very good winning point when it comes to the Subaru Forester SH. It was arguably the most, or it can be argued to be the most comfortable Subaru Forester ever made yet, by the way. It is more comfortable compared to the SG9s, and it's more, com <laughs> it's more comfortable even uh, compared to the, to the SJGs. So it was one very comfortable vehicle, and uh, the suspension was quite interesting because it came with double wishbones on the front and uh, independent suspension on the rear, improving the handling. In fact, the Servotronic uh, uh, steering system made sure that it, it would handle very well. The only problem with the Servotronic uh, power steering is when it fails, but generally in terms of handling, it makes this car handle very well and the steering feel be, and the steering feels very, 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 very smooth. It does sit on size 17 wheels, but uh, some lower trim levels would sit on 16s. That's why you will find some SH uh, Foresters with good clearance. Others look a bit smaller. But this was among the first mature Foresters. You know, the SG9s and the SG5s and the SFs were perceived to be Garizama boy. Yeah. But, but mm. so sa hapa kuwa Subaru boys. Gari gari ya, ya waze. Ya mabazu. Mm. By the way gari tumeomba kwa ule best yetu. Mm. Anaitwa Eric Magari Safi. Kama kawaida. Pale kasa. Yes. You can give him a call. Mpigie mm. simu. Mpigie simu. So how practical was this vehicle? Nimekataa kufunguka boot. Acha nifungue bwana. Najua <laughs> gari. Eh hey, garumu zenu nakonga na mambo 23. Haiko sangi maneno. Eh. Hey. Haiko sangi tu maneno 2 ili tutatu. Yes. Ah, ah, fine. So the first thing, hey. <laughs> ati, ilikuja na spoiler. Ah, very nice. A very nice spoiler. Mm. Na, na sasa, mm. eh, na watu kona na mabati ya devi complicity. Lakini gari ni ya. Ya magari sabi. Si ya devi. Ya mabati tunajueza juu mali ilitoka. Eh, eh. Eh. Anyway, ah. Uh, the the kawaida this was a very practical vehicle but did you notice that the boot space on this one looks smaller compared to that of the sg5 yes it's slightly smaller compared to that of the sg5 irrespective of the fact that this one is a bigger vehicle how 
I know, but this one has better legroom. Yes, on the rear seat. It has be better legroom mm. on the rear wheels, uh, the rear seats, but you also get the conventional mall cruller things. Mm. Unapata e power output, you can mm. uh, fold down the seats. Yes. Then you can uh, split the boot. Wakati hutaki watu wa waanze kucheza cheza na vitu umebeba eh yeah. yeah. unaweza weka mkono nyuma kama umekaa hapo kwa hiyo second row exactly waanza kuguzaguza nyanya zako nyanya zako na unaruba nyanya so siangalie gari interior yes yeah. talk to me about the interior now the interior of the sh yes is uh, acha nizunguka na mna huu zunguka tu zunguka zunguka so the, the interior was uh, quite mature as well it it it, it looks nothing like the SG series right mm -hmm. it it was a complete redesign and simple very simple but a bit more much you know SG ilikuwa na maneno mingi hapa alafu wasi wako na SG9 ama SG5 unapatanga wameka gauges kama 16 hapa hadi iko na gauge ya kushukisha kile eh iko naona iko na eco mode iko na eco mode eh it had an eco mode then the gear was very the gear there was very simple uh ungeenda tu then you can ah, but nice. anyway it was a four speed auto yes so this was the vehicle that came before the lineatronic cvt ah. sasa lineatronic ilianza nga kwa subaru legacy on the br9 oh on the br9 even ilianza kuwa na hiyo was lineatronic mm. so actually these were the last foresters with the lab automatic from subaru I will buy this one. Kutoka hapo ni Lineatronic. However, mm -hmm. uh, well, it was very practical at, at the back as well. Yes. And Nigari basically Nigari fit. And considering this car is being sold for around 1.15, 1.2, actually you keep easy bagari in a range from between 1 million to 1.2. Mm -hmm. Depend depending on how clean it is na pia kama mtu amefanya hiyo conversion. Hiyo conversion. Mm -hmm. And by the way that conversion is a unique selling point. Ah, ukipata mtu amefanya it's a good step towards Yes, it's a very good step. Lakini pia akuwa amefanya conversion vizuri okay. because there are a few problems associated with that conversion. Ukiwa umetoa pipe from the main pump mm -hmm. towards the rack, mm -hmm. ushikanishe na silicon. Mm -hmm. Iyo itakuwa a weak point. Hiyo gari mm -hmm. itaishi kumwaga power steering fluid. Yes. So that is a point to note. Mm -hmm. So if you want a complete conversion, anza huko kwa cross member, mm -hmm. steering rack pump all the way up ah, complete not, overhaul complete overhaul do not try to cut a shortcut cut a shortcut apana kama unafanya conversion fanya a full conversion now what will happen after you do the conversion the steering becomes a little bit firm okay it's not as soft as right now yes it becomes a, a little bit firm but for people who love speed mm -hmm. that the farm is better fantastic uh, farm is better so anyway you get to have the sg9 feel or the sg5 feel mm -hmm. on the search on the search to ndo ndesha gari sike to sikie umesema this is the most comfortable it's the most comfortable on the forest line let me let, let, let me feel it with mr mbogo mbogo kazi yake ni kushake kitu kicho kana yes yes sasa huku ndani yes iko namna gani the way you say it, it feels a big a bit biggish and comfy it is it is quite it is very comfortable yes it is extremely comfortable that that is very true that is very true the scheme and bombay it's very simple si subaru inge back to vck ile kitu alitunyima ndo kwa hii mlango ni ile half a door eh by the way when now subaru lost the frameless doors it's nice it's simple the materials are held up over time angalia very nice very nice what happened to this quality of building cars right now? Planned obsolescence. Ah. Planned obsolescence. Alafu, yes. unaona ilikuwa na steering controls back in 2008. Iko na cruise control. Things okay, these are things that Mercedes had yeah, way, way before, back. Way before. But mm -hmm. I think Subaru at this time was ilikuwa adolescence. Yes. Ilikuwa ina shift <laughs> between <laughs> kukua a driver's car yes. to a more inclusive to a car that is more what wengi wanaweza embrace ukisema okay, watu wengi unamaanisha they are trying to look at uh, you know balance ya gender na wale watu wanapenda vitu rais rais exactly uh, this is when they were trying to go after fuel economy and all that stuff oh exactly yes lakini basically unajua that is when they 
Okay, and the, the most unfortunate bit is that auto manufacturers will never build cars for enthusiasts. Yes. They will always build cars that will make them money. Yeah. It's business. For mass production and for, for mass people production. who want to consume. Exactly. So see, see one percent. See one percent. That is why you see the Evo was axed. We the do Lanza. not. We, the, 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 yeah, the Evo, cars like Akina GT Apex, mm. uh, the 86. The best cars have been, the, the enthusiast cars have been uh, axed. And now we are having these small crawlers because while I was in the Gari shopping, I was in the Gari shopping in Subaru. Subenje. I don't know Subaru, it was Subenje. Bugua, Tombi, how do you feel? I'm here behind. Yes. Okabi was not wrong about the. How comfortable! This, I think this is one of the most comfortable Subaru I've been. I wish you you, see, you see the way I'm reclined. I'm I'm really comfortable. I to be it's really comfortable. You know, it's I love big. I, I love this this this, this one design. Yeah. I've not seen another any other car to be honest. You see how the you, you think you have no cup holders. Yes. And then you have the Kawaida Kawaida handrest. Mm. And then now the. Look where the cup holders are. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, the best place. I, I don't know why. I don't know where no other car manufacturers have ever thought. That was genius. This was the perfect place. I mean, you know? Yeah, that's a, you know these. Anyway, it's and unfortunately the SF. Um, nobody talks much about. No, the SF was the pioneer of the Subaru Forester. Yes. And I know the SF was a very good. It was a very good car. It it started the the cult culture. Yes. The, it, it was the Shakahola of Subaru. Yes. <laughs> you really, what, what kind of WRX STI? Yeah. Yeah. Na impresa. Yeah. Yeah. You see the Forester. Ilikuja. SF. The Forester lineage started with the SF. Yes. So when the SF will come, that is when guys so oh so we can have a more practical vehicle that can do both on road and off road handling. Na ina yezenda mbio na ni practical. It was the SF. It started a following from there. SF had you aleo. I can argue that the SF is the best looking Forester to I, date. I agree with you. Haya, tuko toka kwa SF tukaingia kwa sasa yenye iliongeza even the cult for sasa hiyo ndio ndio pasta Mackenzie of Subaru Forester. Yes. DSG. Wachana na Mackenzie. Huyu ni Ezekiel. Huyu ni Ezekiel sasa. Yule yeah, yeah, <laughs> baba kamsalimia huyo. Huyu ni Ezekiel. Sasa hapo yeah. ndipo cult ya Subaru na hiyo ndio maana up to date yes. Subaru Forester SG5s and SG9s are their 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 prices you know wazi pata safi na below so nane currently correct kweli yes then now yes uh, i this think is the confused chat no these sasa hapo ndipo sasa wakaingia hapa mm. mambo ya cult sikajulikana watu mm. wakaanza kuona <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 So now the SDGs are not loved. Mm. Why? Because they have a crappy gearbox. Zimepoteza kila kitu ya Subaru. Hii at least ilikuwa na vitu mbili tatu za Subaru. Tukienda kwa SJ bro. I'm just reminding you to use the word Subenje. So now I can this is the least understood. Haina haichukiwi kama SJ. Na but I bend we come is in SG5 myself. So I think it was it's just there eh? but if you're looking for an affordable crossover SUV. Yes. Kwa hiyo bei ya 1M. Mm-hmm. He comes in top of the Yes list. because it still has the, the reliable four speed automatic. Mm-hmm. It still has you can get an EJ20 mm-hmm. or if you want a more reliable engine you can still get an an, uh, an FB20. Yes. The, the the chain driven one. Yes. So it it can give you everything you want. It retains the old school Subaru in a way and then the it new picks school. the new school. So it is a mixed. So so we ni pointy. We ni pointy. Okay. We ni pointy. We ni pointy. We ni pointy is as. But but yeah. Zamambugwa. Something else I'm I'm still wondering is how 
they've managed to give you so much leg room and yet have enough boot space. I like the side leg room, but I'm not care. Actually, Okabi said, Okonyuma were the Finyaki. I think they were very smart in a way. They just took some few a millimeters from the, boot from the boots and compensated it inside the, 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 the cabin. Cab. Yes, especially Kowija Mwanyuma. And, and I will honestly say yes. that Nikitu Ndasema, yes. this is the most com comfortable Subaru Forester. You will never get another comfortable, both in terms of driving yes. and driving. Agreed. It might not be the performer. I agree, Okabi. This is a, a Subaru can sit in for eight hours without complaining. Without complaining. You know, because I'm very, very, very nice, very nice. So Do you want us to give a team score? This one, I'm, a, I'm a, feeling like a team score. To party a team score. Oh, to party a team score. To party a team score. Yes, Subaru Forester. Eh, Mbugua. Yes, it's the first time giving you a team score. You know, the design that this car, this small, small, it was a wengine wa This car, man, it will score a perfect chain. Because one, okay, not a perfect chain. Let me just give it a nine because of the steering rack, manenos. Yes. But with the design, the legroom, the cup holders, I, I, I'll be honest, I've been in so many cars, but I've never said a car is a very convenient place to place your cup holders. For me, it's a nine. It's a nine. I think I'm feeling Bugo today. I'm yeah. feeling Bugo, Gabi. I also want to give it a nine. I think in their quest to blend in new school and old school, they got somehow a stable car in this one in terms of comfort the way you put it it's it's a car that you will need to sit in drive feel it experience for you to understand exactly what you have Isn't you? Mm -hmm. fantastic well priced again for mtu ananzia hapo maneno chini so it losing the one definitely I'm, I'm with Pogo the same because of the steering rack but you've given us a very good solution mm -hmm. as long as you put that in mind go do it in the best way possible make sure you do it the proper way you have this kind you get a blend of old school yeah, new school yeah. Subaru Amambo in a fun so doctor finish it off my brother so for me yes I will be with the Subaru purists yes this car I can give it an eight mm -hmm. because it is not really it 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 lost the Subaru ness that we had in the SG series yes right yes which has been lost even with the SJs mm -hmm. if I was to buy a Forester I would definitely buy the SF or the SG or the SG yes easy he a partner but anyway mm -hmm. let me argue as as what you am Kenya and attack on a gari con a clearance mm -hmm. na gari reliable this one is it. Yes. But now the steering rack, manenos, there is a solution. You can swap it with that of the ST9. It will cost you, it will set you back less than 50,000. The power steering buying it is of the is a, is a Votronic key. Eh, okay, mia. Buy in mia. Hey, way. So, see, here in the conversion. Conversion. By the way. Here in the Permanent. Cheaper and, and more permanent. Cheaper and more permanent. You have a permanent solution to that. Ah, fantastic. So, my so idea would be yeah. mine would I would give it an eight because it okay it for a family person it's a good vehicle yes. for a family person. Sababu ina kupatia you know kuwezi bebo watoto na SG SG nine. Ukweli. You know when do aski pa 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 pa. You know at waski zile zile pa 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 pa. I love you, Papa. The ways you are not you are SG9. One of the gauges to a pile at the upper. Any yadi in a car, I can gauge me. The quiet pillar, you may come again in the upper. That's all I do. For me, I would prefer a simple SG. Yes. I'm an SF. But these were now it, you know, the, the SG was more of an outback, outbackish. Because outback, you know, it's a crossover SUV, but it's not as tall as this one. Yes. And it is not as short as the Legacy. Yeah. So that was how the SF and the SG blended. But now the SH and the SJ, up and Subaru Alianza Kupotezea. Network. Network. However, mm. I think they were trying to accommodate people like Akina Ibra who love but... the comfort. Yeah, no, Mwana ume comfort sang up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Mimi, by the story, me what any same. You see like the legacies the uh, before before the before the BP. Yes. I think there were the the the, the B the BL. 
um hizi zilikuwa hizi the, the, the last of the legacies then yes. zilikuwa na they came with a momo steering from the factory mm. they came with a manual transmission yes. but those were the subarus as an enthusiast as a car who loves performance those were the subarus mm. as a guy who loves comfort this is it <laughs> I know I know what to subscribe. I was subscribe. Eh, mna watch was a 40k like subs ni 1000. Oh surely. Ah bana. Wala alafu anasema tukisema tutunalialia. Mwache kutwe. Wa subscribe. Get us to good numbers. We make wakitupatia watufikishe subscription ngapi? Kwa hiyo watufikishe. Na wataka kuwapatia target ya ya 5000. Wakitukisha 15,000 kwanza kuleta episode mbili mbili ina week za conversations bro 15,000 at same 20 ikiwa kuna watu 100,000 uko 130 wakabi si hao tu 20 wakuje wakuje huku tuwapatie two episodes two episodes in a week za conversations bro double trouble double trouble wednesday kwanza tuko na kitu kingine very interesting tunataka kufanya eh wednesday na sunday na sunday exactly so this one they are watching on sunday jioni hii ni sunday hii ni kanisa nyingine at least ni pesa kia ku edit mbani Eh hey, wapatie mbugu wa hey, subscribe. So tuambie ni mtaka kuona gari nyingine gani? Yes. Kwa conversations. Oh. Tunajibana? Tunde hapo.